Hello? Jerry? Yeah, let me ask you a question. How do you cross those wires? I didn't cross any wires. The keys were in it. Sid left the keys in the car. All right, I gotta go. Drive carefully. Hey, Jerry, when's the last time you had a tune-up? Because yeah. I can't find the... <laughs> Sid left the keys in the car. Who's Sid? He's this guy in the neighborhood parks cars on the block. What do you mean? He moves them from one side of the street to the other so you don't get a ticket. What, do you pay him for that? Yeah, like 50 bucks a month. How many people does he do that for? The whole block. 40, 50 cars. He only works three hours a day. He makes a fortune. Because <laughs> he's been doing that for years, right, Jerry? Yeah. Could anybody do that? Oh. Hey, Sid, what happened? I'm sorry, Jerry. Maybe I'm getting too old for this stuff. You left the keys in the car? Well, you know, they making that Woody Allen movie in the block and all those people and trucks everywhere. And when I saw him, I must have got a little distracted. You know I'm in that movie? Do what? Yeah, I'm an extra. How'd you get that? Well, I was just watching him film yesterday, and some guy just asked me. Right out of the clear blue sky? Clear blue sky. <laughs> well, why'd they ask me? I got a quality. Hey, Jerry, you got insurance, right? Yeah, but no car. I'll have to rent one. Well, I'm going down to visit my sister in Virginia next Wednesday for a week, so I can't park it. This Wednesday? No, next Wednesday. Week after this Wednesday. But the Wednesday two days from now is the next Wednesday. If I meant this Wednesday, I've said this Wednesday. It's the week after this Wednesday. Sid, who's going to move the cars while you're away? Whoever wants to move them. What do I care who moves them? They can move themselves if they want. Maybe I could move them until you get back. What's a young man like you want to move cars for? You don't work? I'm in a transition phase right now. Well, if you want to move the cars, move the cars. Just don't forget to take the keys out, that's all. Huh? Now, you didn't tell me you didn't know how to drive. You should have mentioned that. Well, I know how to drive. Then how all of those cars get damaged? Why are people calling me up, screaming on the phone? Most of them cancel out on me. Can I get anybody anything? Moving cars from one side of the street to the other don't take no more sense than putting on a pair of pants. My question to you is, who's putting your pants on? I put my pants on, Sid. No, I don't blame you. If you can put your pants on, you move those cars. Well, I don't want to get into a big dispute about the pants. Who's going to send money to my sister in Virginia? Her little boy needs surgery on his foot. Now, you're going to be walking around with a limp because you can't park a few cars. <laughs> Maybe I could call my father. Hey, you seen the paper yet? Interestingly enough, no, in as much as it is my paper. Yeah. There's an article in there about that writer. Owen March, prominent author and essayist, suffered a stroke yesterday in the Upper West Side apartment of a friend. Uh huh? That's the guy that was here. You're the friend. Nice. <laughs> the extent of the damage would have been far less severe had paramedics been able to reach him sooner. <laughs> Oh, Lord. The commotion also delayed production of a Woody Allen movie that was shooting up the block. A spokeswoman for the legendary filmmaker said that Mr. Allen was extremely agitated and wondered if his days of shooting movies in New York were over. 